The rate of corruption in the colonial government keeps increasing in different aspects of the corrupted Lao Republic of Cameroon. An investigation has revealed cases of severe financial misconduct at the Colonial Victoria City Council implicating several top officials. The investigations found that these officials were funneling and channeling public funds into their personal accounts. The Secretary General, Kingi Thompson Mulenge, their municipal treasurer, Misodi Alangwe Margaret, and the public relations officer, Bao Ngo Francis, were found to be misappropriating payments for online services offered by the Colonial Council. Let's begin tonight's on Joint here. How are you doing, sir? Splendid, Ongi. Well, the Colonial Victoria City Council's official website, uh, the www.limbecm, provides various online uh, services which include the information which you just shared in this report. I bet you want to go on to give more details to this report. Well, the Colonial Victoria City Council official uh, provides online services such as birth, marriage, death, and, you know, what they tag as Talibasi certificates, as well as land certificates. Now, these services are accessible to people across the cameras with payments made via different um, transfer units that they call um, money, Western Union, or the MoneyGram. But however, instead of the payments going into the council's institutional account, well, they discovered that funds were being directed to the personal accounts of their officials. Now, according to findings, the three officials have divided the online payments between themselves. Payments made by different uh, money institutions and uh, payment made to the Secretary General Kingi Thompson, payment made through the MTN Mobile uh, money goes to the public relations officer Bao Ngo Francis, while payments made via Western Union or MoneyGram are sent to the municipal treasurer Misundi Elangui Margaret. Well, typically payments for Victoria City Council services should be deposited into an official account, a council, official council account. However, the investigation revealed otherwise. After applying for various services, it was discovered that the mobile month numbers provided for payments um, upon completion, the transactions, the names Kinge Thompson, Mulonge the names uh, for Western Union and MoneyGram transactions, the name of the municipal treasurer, Misodi Langwe Margaret, appeared on the receipt. They were displayed and it raised questions about the existence of an official account for such services. Why would individuals have the names to this official accounts? The Colonial Victoria City Council's website was developed under the supervision of the Secretary General who contracted a web developer from Gong Samba, and it remains unclear how long the alleged misappropriation has been occurring. But it is known that King Thompson Mulonge was appointed in 2019 when Victoria was still under the leadership of a colonial government appointed delegate. Oh, well, according to the law under um, 2011-01, which amended provisions of ordinance. In June 29, 1981, the issuance of a birth certificate within 90 days is free. Similarly, the certificate of celibacy required to prove someone is eligible for marriage is also meant to be free of charge. The Victoria City Council is charging a fee for these services, you can imagine. Now, for example, what they tag as the celibacy certificate costs 5,100 francs CFA, with the council attributing the fee to the cost of stamps. Not just that, envelopes, mail services, and online processing additional fees are applied based on the applicant's location, even though these services are legally supposed to be free. With this fraud and established mismanagement at the different colonial councils in Ambazonia, the special council and what they call support fund for mutual assistance, cancel debts of this council with the pretext that the ongoing war was making revenue collection difficult. This organ is in charge of financial cancers. The regime was careless about what was done with the money that the colonial mayors collected, thereby promoting corruption. And this just goes to show corruption oozes from the very um, impression of 
Amazonians and of course the Colonial Council. You can see that for yourself. The question this night is what is Sali Basi funds or payments or agreements or whatever they tag that as highly, highly amazing.